I'm Victoria from Victoria's Family Kitchen, Cooking with Love. And I'm here with my family, Jasmine, Ariana, Rachel, and my husband, Romel. And join our family as we take culinary adventures and bring you to our family kitchen. And remember, always have fun in the kitchen and cook with love. Hey everybody, welcome to Victoria's Family Kitchen. Today we're going to be showing you and your family how to have fun in the kitchen by making your own favorite pizza from scratch. Every child and adult's favorite meal on the go. So first thing we always do as a family is go wash our hands. So let's go. So one of the main key things we like to do for our family when we're preparing meals together is start at our dining room table because of the size of our kitchen. So that's a tip that you can use if you have a larger family with a smaller kitchen. All right, so first thing we're gonna do for our homemade pizza is we are going to get our bread flour. You can also use all-purpose flour, but bread flour gives it a little more fluffiness and a better texture and taste to it. All right, so each one of us is gonna do one cup of flour, level it off. And level it off just means what Ariana just did is that you wanna scoop it nice, clean, sweep over top. And we're also teaching the kids how to take turns in the kitchen and how to share. Oh. And level it off with nice, clean hands. There you go. <laughs> Good job. Good job. While Rachel's putting her flour in her bowl, you guys just pick up your pack of pizza yeast. Now you wanna make sure that you use a pizza yeast to make a fast rise pizza, which meaning you don't wanna have to dump your yeast in water, you just wanna pack that's already ready to go in your flour. Older kids, it's easy for them to use kitchen shears as long as they're being supervised. And why do we use yeast? What does yeast do? Puffs it up. Puffs it up and makes it rise. Next, we wanna use, what kind of sugar is this? This is organic, pure, raw cane sugar. This is the type of sugar that you want to use if you need to use sugar. So we're going to do two tablespoons of organic, pure, raw cane sugar. Mm -hmm. Make sure you count. One. Uh-huh. after one. Two. Two. Good job. Cooking in the kitchen also makes it better to help with your kids' math skills. And while we're waiting for Ariana and Rachel and Daddy to do their sugar, you can use your whisk and all this We want to do three fourths a teaspoon of salt. This is one of the most awesome tools that you can have in the kitchen is a spatula. You got to tap it to get off. That's 
right, you gotta tap it. Give me the eye, three tablespoons. That's right, get off the edges. Good job, good job. Got it? So I'm gonna tap this while you get the edges. Got it? Good job. Hold your bow. Good job. All right, now you want to mix it together. And while the kids are mixing it together, we want to go right back mm -hmm, with your spatula to our flour. Remember, try to use bread flour or unbleached all-purpose white flour. How much flour you want to add also depends on how warm or how cool it is in your house or where you're making your pizza at. But usually you want to add maybe one more cup of flour. Um, the consistency that you want to get it to is you want to be able to shape it into a ball of dough, a nice ball of dough. So we're always going to start off by adding one cup of flour. Okay? So I'm going to add your one cup of flour while you keep stirring it. Mommy, this thing looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? Yeah. Hold your bow. Always hold your bow. <laughs> you got to work it. Alright, so I'm going to level it off with my clean hands. And mix it in. We're going to add one, bowl, one oh, cup of flour. That's okay. And the thing is, it does make a, a little mess in the kitchen, but that's okay. Because you know you're cooking really good when you make a little bit of a mess. Sometimes you make the floor messy, that's fine. Mix it together, mix it, mix it together, yep. Yep, mix it together, yep. Mix it, mix it, mix it, you mixing it? All right, cool. And so then you wanna take a look at your flour. Can I use your bowl real quick? So you see this little mixture right here? We want it to be a little more consistent. So we're gonna add a little bit of flour at a time to get it into a nice soft bowl to get into a nice soft ball of dough. So we're gonna do a little bit at a time. Yeah. All right, so just a little bit at a time. Mine is coming apart. That's fine. Mine's just getting really and hard to mix. My name is Mariah. My name is Mackenzie. My business is Science with the Sire. I own Paul Polo. CEO and creative designer of Teamwork Creations. I am the CEO of Supergirl Life. I am the owner and creative designer of Jazzy J's Creations, LLC. I am an assistant instructor at Qmon. Tutorial's Kitchen. The Richmond Children's Business Fair Team Program encourages youthpreneurs to think, create, and own their own businesses. They are guided and mentored by business and nonprofit professionals who are committed to helping these business owners flourish. The Richmond Children's Business Fair Team Program, where we help dreams become reality. Think it, create it, and own it. Hundreds of customers have relied on us to get their vehicles moving again. We're reliable and dependable. We're Locks and Flats. Thank you for choosing us. Thanks, Locks and Flats, for all your help. What's up, Richmond? It's Helen from Miss Gurley's Kitchen. Our city has some of the best culinary gems, Jamaican spots, pizza joints, soul food, gas stations, cakes, and we're going to tour them one by one. You're watching the Richmond restaurant scene with Miss Gurley's. Paul Parker here, owner of Metro Auto and Truck Repair. We do oil changes, tire rotation, brake repair, belts, headlights. Bring it on down. We'll take care of it. Come on down to Metro for 20% off your first visit. Hey, we're here at Elwood Thompson's. Let's take a look inside so that I can give you a sneak peek on Victoria's money saver tips and what to keep in your fridge at home for your family. What you want to do is, when you're looking for your meats, one of the key things that you can do is look at the sell-by date on your meats. And remember that date, and then get to know your store butcher, and come back to the store about maybe three to four days before that expiration or sell-by date, and the meats will be marked down to maybe about 20 to 30 percent, or even more, and they'll still be good, and they're holding your fridge or your freezer, especially in your freezer, for about maybe three to four extra months. So next, we're going to let the adults help mold the dough together in the ball of dough. So we're going to do that by looking at the consistency that we have already in the bowl and adding a little bit of flour to it. Alright, so let me add flour to yours. 
And it's good to also sprinkle flour over your hand, rub it together. And I'm gonna help you get this together for a minute. All right, so we got a nice little good consistency going on there. All right, so now I'm gonna turn it over onto a clean table. So Jasmine, you wanna carefully take your bowl and put your dough on a clean table, okay? So another helpful fact that you can use in the kitchen is to take your big bowl of flour, take your measuring cup or measuring spoon, Sprinkle flour on the table. That way you can move the big bowl of flour out the way. All right. So we give Daddy that bowl. So everybody's going to you come closer. Take flour and sprinkle it right beside you, and then spread it around. Is she taking it? No, she's sharing. You got it. Sprinkle it in front of you, and then we can take some of our flour and sprinkle it on top of our pizza dough. So sprinkle it around. You got it. I know the sprinkling. All right, and so then we are going to take our ball of dough, and everybody look at mommy. Remember, make it into a nice ball of dough. And what are we going to do Bowling. next? We're going to we'll push it, push and, it fold and fold it good. And what's that called? Kneading. Kneading the dough. All right, so Jasmine, I'm going to use yours first. We want to push it away, right? Looking, and then fold it, and then fold it again and push it away, okay? There you go. All right, so we wanna knead this dough for about five minutes. So y'all ready to work those muscles? Rachel's yeah. already working hers. Let's go. Push it, fold it, and then fold it again. Push it, then push it. Push it. Fold it. Fold it. Fold it. Push it, okay? Fold it. Fold it, got it. So the next step for homemade pizza is going to be to use your dough knife. Can you ladies hold up your dough knife? Whoa! These Whoa! are our dough knives. Now are they really sharp? No. No, they're not really sharp. We are going to use our dough knives to cut our dough in half. Now before we do that, we have our two kids over here. They're going to be using regular pizza pans, making their own pizza. And then Rachel and Daddy are going to be making pizza cups using a muffin tin. Jasmine and Ariana, you're going to cut your pizza in half first. So get your dough knife. You don't need to put it on your pan yet. You can get your dough knife. Get your dough knife. Cut yours in half. And this is also when math comes into the picture. Because there is math and science behind cooking and baking from scratch, which is also good to use with your kids in the kitchen. You'll help me repeat that again and again because it's really important to involve math, reading, writing, and science in the kitchen with your family. It helps a lot. They're getting some learning in at the same time they're having fun. You guys are going to cut your dough into the amount of muffin tins that you have. All right, Jasmine and Ariana, while Rachel and Daddy are cutting their dough up, we are going to put one piece aside. What do you have to put on your rolling pin? We gotta get some flour. More flour. flour. Yeah. We gotta get some flour. So let's get some flour. 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 <laughs> All right, Daddy, can we get that flour bowl again? Let me get that flour bowl. Sprinkle a little bit of flour. You can even use your hands. A little bit of flour on the table and roll your rolling pin on. You just need a little bit. Roll it. Roll it. Isn't roll, it, isn't roll, it cool? roll And you want to roll your dough out. Now remember, when we roll our dough, we're rolling, and then what do we do after we roll it for a few times? Oh, uh, we have to knead it. Turn it. So you roll it, and then what do you do next? Turn, Turn it. it. So we want to roll it out. We want to make sure we get a nice, even, shape of whatever pizza we want. It doesn't always have to be the exact match of the pizza um, pan that you're using or any pan that you're using because you have to remember you're in the kitchen with your family and it's going to turn out a different way at different times depending on who's doing it and their kids. You're having fun. All right, so our next step is we want to get some canola oil or your preferred oil and you want to put it on your whatever pan you're using, whether, your muff whether it's your muffin tins or your pizza pan. And this is another fun part in the kitchen because the kids get to use their hands to spread the oil around in the pan. Not too much oil, just enough to coat it. Carefully just spread it all around. 
So this is the kind of consistency that you want to get it to. Now, we don't usually toss our dough like they do in a pizzeria, but I guess we can like give it a go. You want to see mommy try to toss the dough? Yeah. Daddy, you want to try to toss it? Mama Mia, pizza, pizza. What do you think? Is that oh. good? Oh, oh, that was good. Oh, wait, now that's it. Okay, oh. wait a minute. Wait, did wait. you see how I did it? How did he do? That was pretty cool. Oh. And I'm glad you caught it. That's good. Put your pizza on your pizza pan. For our pizza muffin tins, we want to use like a pinch. You can take that in half and use a pinch of it. Pinch that off and then we roll it in a ball. And then what do we do? Flat and flatten it. Push. And then you put it in just like that. So now let's take a break and get information on a money saver tip from Victoria's Family Kitchen. Another key pantry staple to have in your pantry for your family is going to be pure raw cane sugar. If you can, you want to try to make sure you're going organic with your pure raw cane sugar. It makes it easy to make your own specialized drinks and to go in your favorite homemade desserts. Hundreds of customers have relied on us to get their vehicles moving again. We're reliable and dependable. We're Locks and Flats. Thank you for choosing us. Thanks Locks and Flats for all your help. Ethan Evans here, and I'm here in front of Trevenia Wine and Bar. I'm excited to announce the start of Henrico Restaurant Week 2018. Let's take a look inside. The event benefits the Henrico Police Athletic League. Visit HenricoRestaurantWeek.com for details. What's up, Richmond? It's Helen from Miss Gurley's Kitchen. Our city has some of the best culinary gems, Jamaican spots, pizza joints, soul food, gas stations, cakes, and we're gonna tour them one by one. You're watching the Richmond restaurant scene with Miss Gurley's. This is inspired by the motion picture. This is inspired by the hip hop. This is inspired by the starving artist and the working stiff. This is inspired by the past and it's inspired for the future. This is inspired by the culture, for the culture. But let's make one thing clear. This is not your pop's culture. Paul Parker here, owner of Metro Auto and Truck Repair. We do oil changes, tire rotation, brake repair, belts, headlights, bring it on down. We'll take care of it. Come on down to Metro for 20% off your first visit. Hundreds of customers have relied on us to get their vehicles moving again. We're reliable and dependable. We're Locks and Flats. Thank you for choosing us. Thanks, Locks and Flats, for all your help. So next, we are going to place our toppings on our pizza. So we're making mozzarella and spinach pizza and regular cheese pizza. So what we're going to do is use our marinara or pasta sauce. And each one of us is going to grab a spoon starting with jasmine. And we're just going to put our pizza sauce on. And you want to start in the middle just like jasmine is. And use the back of your spoon and spread it all around the chop. So now we have our pizza sauce on. And now we want to use our mozzarella cheese. So let's start with jasmine first. Ooh, nice sprinkle from the air. And you can get yours. All right, so Jasmine, since you're just making your cheese pizza, what you want to use now is your seasoning mixture. Now you can use whatever special seasonings you like on your pizza or you use for your foods in your house. What we like to do is use garlic powder, onion powder, and Italian seasonings. And we mix it together and you just want to take a little bit, take a pinch and sprinkle it all over. All right, so Jasmine's pizza is done. She's got her cheese pizza. And you want to put a nice heaping handful of spinach leaves on there. Now you have to remember that spinach holds a lot of water, just like all other vegetables. So the more you put on, it's going to shrink down to just a small quantity. And Ariana's doing a beautiful display of her spinach leaf. And I'm going to take a little easier route and just take a couple of them and just sprinkle them on top. It may look messy at first, but it's actually going to wilt down and look beautiful after you take it out the oven. So we have Miss Jasmine's cheese pizza and Victoria and Ariana's 
mozzarella and spinach pizzas, and these are ready for the oven. You want to put these at, in the oven. Are? Yeah. Oh. You, want, you want to put these in the oven at 425 degrees between 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how hot your oven cooks your items. For safety reasons, you want to have your kids step back from the oven until you think they're prepared to put food in the oven safely with oven mitts. But um, since they're younger, I'm going to place them in the oven for them. So I'm going to get you girls to slide on back. So now let's go over to Rachel with our pizza cups. Are you ready? All right, so we are going to add our toppings to our pizza cups, which we have made in this handy dandy muffin tin. They these look, are awesome. They look like muffin they pies. They do look like muffin pies, but these are pizza cups. <laughs> oh, all right, so all right, so first thing we're gonna do is the same like we did with our larger pizzas. We're gonna put on our pizza sauce, uh, and Rachel's gonna show you how to put on our pizza sauce. Do a little bit of pizza sauce. All right, so once she's got her pizza sauce on, now we can move on to one of her favorite things to eat, which is what's this? Cheese! Cheese! Mozzarella cheese. Get your mozzarella cheese, and you just want to sprinkle it on top. And eat it. And eat it. Sprinkle it on top and eat it. You can eat all the cheese. All right, now let's put some cheese. No more eating. Put it on here. It tastes so good. I'm thinking about it. Oh. There you go. And you can do the rest of those over there. And like I said, it's good if they want to take a taste of it. And now we're going to use our seasoning mixtures that we had after she finished eating her cheese. And now we're also gonna take this away. Good job. Good, oh. good. All right, get your seasoning mixture right there. And this is our garlic powder, onion powder, and Italian seasoning mixed together. So we wanna do a little bit, say a little bit. Uh -huh. A little teeny bit, a little teeny bit, a little teeny bit on each one. No salt, you don't wanna put any salt in this. Yeah, because the mozzarella's going to come. It's gonna be a little too much if you put salt in it. Because the mozzarella already has salt in it. There you go. And you got one more. And you're done. Just put this down like a big girl. And don't, no, don't eat that one. No, you don't need to take that one. You want to put that down. And so these are done. And Rachel's going to stay here while I go pop these in the oven. You're also going to want to put these at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 13 minutes, depending on how fast your oven cooks. All right, so it's time to eat. The pizzas have cooled down, which is very important for little kids. And make sure it's not too hot for them. And we're gonna put them down, slice them up, and get ready to eat. Are you guys ready? Yeah! yeah! All right. All right, so we have our pizza cups, and we have our spinach and mozzarella pizza. While the cheese pizza is still in the oven, baking up, getting nice and gooey and melty, we're gonna let that go for a few minutes. But for now, we're gonna enjoy what's ready. All right? Uh, All right, yes! so a quick tip for getting your pizza cups out is a plastic fork, right? You, some of them lift out, and then you can also use a fork to stick underneath and lift it out, okay? See, I'm And we're going to ask Dad to cut the mozzarella and spinach pizza for us. All right, so let Dad I'm having a lot out. of these. You want a lot? What about me? Uh, no more. No more? All right, so now we're going to let Dad cut the pizza. That's short. Mm, it's good. I don't know. It's yeah. He cuts like a real pizza man. Does, I don't want them. He's professional. <laughs> yeah. He's professional. Alright, so we're going to plate the parents' plates up. Some spinach and mozzarella pizza. Uh, yeah. And we're also going to give the kids some spinach and mozzarella pizza. Yay! Just put it on their plate. Even if you're not sure if they're gonna eat it because it has spinach on it, we know it tastes good. And you wanna put it in front of them just so they'll get a look at it and get a feel for it, okay? And I'm gonna get a pizza cup. I'm gonna get a pizza cup. I know we're all hungry. Good! You start eating already. So that's a wrap for this episode of Victoria's Family Kitchen. 
cooking with love. Remember to always have fun in the kitchen with your family and always cook with love. So let's do another money saver tip from Victoria's Family Kitchen. You want to make sure that you have some key staple produce items in your fridge at all times. With some of them being garlic, try to get the bulk garlic, red onion, yellow onions, and avocado. Usually these are within a great price range um, and you can get a bulk amount of them at a good price. So one of the main things that you can always use onions for is in your home fries, your casseroles, whether breakfast, lunch, or dinner casseroles, and also in a nice gravy, it gives a good flavor. Garlic is your best friend. You can use it in almost anything in the kitchen, and even if you are just in the beginning stages of learning how to cook, it can make your house smell wonderful and delightful and make somebody think that you can cook. And avocado, this is a well little unknown secret in the kitchen. It tastes delicious once you prep it together with limes and different favorite seasonings that you have. Disability 6th Annual Family Festival presented by Dominion Energy and Aetna Better Health of Virginia. October 6th from 1 to 5 p.m. at Crystal Lake Park in Hopewell, Virginia. Vendors, food trucks, face painting, horseback rides, petting zoo, music, bounce houses, games, raffles, and more. We're also having a charity bike ride. You'll meet at Cavalier Square in Hopewell, Virginia at 12 p.m. Kick stands up at 1. Visit disability.org for more information. Hundreds of customers have relied on us to get their vehicles moving again. We're reliable and dependable. We're Locks and Flats. Thank you for choosing us. Thanks Locks and Flats for all your help. What's up Richmond? It's Helen from Miss Gurley's Kitchen. Our city has some of the best culinary gems. Jamaican spots, pizza joints, soul food, gas stations, cakes, and we're going to tour them one by one. You're watching the Richmond restaurant scene with Miss Gurley's. This is inspired by the motion picture. This is inspired by the hip hop. This is inspired by the starving artist and the working stiff. This is inspired by the past and it's inspired for the future. This is inspired by the culture, for the culture. But let's make one thing clear. This is not your pop's culture. Paul Parker here, owner of Metro Auto and Truck Repair. We do oil changes, tire rotation, brake repair, belts, headlights. Bring it on down, we'll take care of it. Come on down to Metro for 20% off your first visit. 